Welcome back to the Lions Den, man. Episode 17 and three fourths. Back with J Mo, man. Went shopping to get some uh, equipment. I hope y'all uh, hear us better and get a little deeper understanding. Yeah, the, the perfection, man. We're working on perfection. We're trying to get the sound to where it's crystal coming through clear, pause, and all that. I just want to give an extra shout out to, uh, you know, the, the in, in memory of the people who lost their lives on 9 11. And, but an extra, extra special shout out to my brother, Brian Payne, man. A lot of y'all probably don't know this guy, but a lot of y'all. Okay, Benzo. The only one, not the only one, but the Benzo, not the other Benzo. It's two Benzo, but. If y'all know, y'all know, man. But rest in peace, rest in peace my brother. Was going, we, was, we was having a conversation about the fact that I don't vote, and you had, you know, a, you know, you had a stance on how things, you know, the, the don't pavement, disrespect the memory the of uh, the, how Mega this, Evers and the uh, Fane Lou Hamers yeah, yeah. So go, and all that. So, so, so explain, it's really explain, important. Explain, explain to the or, to the listeners what, what the, your the legacy stands. of those of those people. No, your stands on me not vote on on those not just me but those who don't vote and you know how you feel about that. Oh man, well me personally in the Lions Den. This is why I created the Lions Den because I'm I'm really not supposed to tell y'all about nothing you know I'm supposed to know because I can I can get through life just like that, but. If you ever been to prison before, you ever been to YA, you ever been convicted of a felony. If you black, if you light skinned it was uh, freckles, you are associated as being black. And um, there's an election season coming up. I hope everybody tuned in to the uh, debate between the, the the two candidates and stuff like that. But um, which I didn't, and that's what started this, this every, conversation. Everything, my 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 lack of um, not being involved in the voting process, or nor the government, or what they got going on. At the same time, beliefs. at the same time, I'm not getting on my brother. No, he's I'm asking. Just, a, I'm just letting him know. He asking a legit question because you are. We are. We so, are so influenceable. Get to the question, so the best of the question is: Is it disrespectful to disrespect the, leg, the legacy and the pavement that of the other the people? Our brother Goodman, Cheney, and Swarner that were murdered in 1964, man. I think the town was called Philadelphia, Mississippi or some old shit like that. But it, it's about, you know, for y'all that don't know, it's, uh, you can go and watch the movie Mississippi Burning. It gives a good, uh, you know, pathway to that. But those young men were named Goodman, Cheney, and Swarner. They got murdered in 1964, and all they tried to do was have people in Mississippi just register to vote. So, so it's, to me, it's really important about voting and shit, because I've been a convicted felon since I was 18, and I've voted every time I get a chance to. But since I got this lion's den, what I'm really trying to do is just make sure this ain't just about sob stories or you know what else you can do what you can do is first of all you can know your history now so back to what i asked my brother about he has a very 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 prominent voice and influence in history in you know speaking true i can't let him get through the lines then if he don't tell the truth of why he's not talking about that. Okay. So go ahead, J Mo. All right. So, you know, basically ask me, have I voted? No, I haven't never voted. Do I vote and will I vote? Only on the circumstances of the community being together as one, addressing our. our, our um, hey, tell them people what you know about Fane Lou Hamer, though. Entertaining a candidate that we would. Megger Zever though. Tell them what you listen. listen. Listen, can I get my reply? Okay. Um, so the only reason I would vote is if my if my community came together as one 
to endorse a certain type of situation. And we were, it, it was a political push for my community. All right, so does do I feel like I'm just being disrespectful to those people who laid their legacy? No, I do not feel like I'm being disrespectful. I honor their legacy. I'm glad there's a, I, I'm not running around here preaching don't vote. I'm doing what I do personally. And, and when I talk to somebody about what they're doing, I just try to give them advice to be honest about what they're doing and, and honest about what, what, what the situation is. So I'm not sitting around saying don't vote, whatever. It's your choice. Do what you do. I personally don't do that. And in civil rights, voting wasn't the only thing that people were after in civil rights. Of course not. So therefore, it was just human rights. Okay, it was human rights. Okay, so therefore, I don't wouldn't think that Nat Turner or, Nat Turner. or, or, or Malcolm X look at you sideways because they took, chose a more violent or a, a more uh, being uh, contact and fighting stance than other people that chose to be more peaceful. It's more than different, it's different ways to do things and it takes different ways to, to execute. So me, myself, I'm a more Malcolm X type of people person. And while, there is, while there is people that, that will go out and vote and do this, I'm, I'm one of the people who actually had to press and, and, and put my hands up to defend us with with the opposite people and go through that type of situation. I'm one of the frontliner type of people. You know what I'm saying? Where and you I don't, from, G? I'm from Oakland, California. All right. And, and and I don't fault those who's not the fighters. I'm I don't fault those who 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 push behind the scenes or push the pen. I don't call them no less of a brother or or a revolutionary or or activist. I understand that it's more than one way. So hey, no, me. I don't feel like it's disrespectful. Excuse me, my brother. I'm not a type of dis. I don't. I'm not a disrespectful person. So anything that my intentions is is because my feelings. And I can't follow every ancestor and revolutionary that 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 was in our history. I'll be confused, absolutely, because it was too many different ways and too many. They all had different styles, and that's what get us tangled up. Some, some nowadays, say that again. You know what I'm saying? People think it's only their way and, and and one way or the highway, and 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 you know you you know you can't attract a, a crowd. To lions den. So nowadays we need to you know focus on being more acceptable to other people's perspective and opinions man so yeah I, I don't I'm not into voting I'm not saying I never would but but do you understand the, the significance of it if I if I if what I vote, our what our ancestors went through yes All right. and I understand what what they're talking about but if I believed in the system I would be more adamant to do it you know what I'm saying because you're a product of the system right no I'm not I'm a product of my parents True, true. That's what true, I am. True, true, true. Um, um, this alliance the end, man. So I, I don't, I don't, I try not to rock with the system. It kept, it, it, I have my own system. I've been ruler and, and, and president of my own situation for a long time. And it's, it, it kept, keep me out of their system and keep me going and, and going and speaking going. About, speaking about your parents and, and, and where you come from, your lineage. What's your parents' name, man? Where you from, bro? Give us some background about who you are. I don't really think my <laughs> parents' name is is, is relevant. It, no, it's it's not. Uh, it's, it's not something that I would have their permission to be saying. So I'm not wouldn't put it on the airwaves and, and not knowing if my parents are okay with putting their names on the airway. That's them up to them. So. But um, we from Oakland, California. Mm -hmm. Both my parents from Oakland, California. They met um, through tennis. And, and you talking about that. the sport? Yeah, my father played tennis. My uncle played like tennis. Like Arthur Ashe and, and uh, uh, tennis. Yes. Yeah, like Arthur like, Ashe and Athilla. Uh, uh, Athia. Yeah, like yeah, oh, yeah. But you can't. What? Like you mean Serena and Venus? No, before you, before them, man. Know, yeah, but when you say that, you gotta say Arthur Ashe, Serena, and Venus. No, man. I don't. Yes, you do, man. See, that's, that's that's. I it's mean, it's, 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 it's five fifteen. That's the protocol. He must be psycho. That's the protocol. The OG dude, and then the the, the queen, the queens. But yeah, man. Yeah. So 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 yeah, that's 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 my stance on that. What, what do you think about that, Mr. Jones? 
Her name is Althea Gibson, man. She's a great grandmother of all black women who ever played golf, tennis, or anything like that.